Hi everyone, thank you so much for your time and thanks for passing by. My name is Darlan Fee. Today we want to look at how to use a calculator to solve questions involving algebra. On the left hand side we have samples of past questions objectives that we want to help you use a calculator in solving them. Now for the purpose of this, you see when you look on the calculator we have different letters on it. But for the sake of this presentation, this is the letters we are going to use, these variables. We are going for one variable, we are going to use X. That is any question that you have in which the question contains just one variable. If that variable is not X, we are going to replace that variable with X. And then for two variables, we are going to use X and Y. So in a question, if you have, let's say, B and C, okay, these are two letters. If we have a question in which there are only two variables in it. We are going to replace those variables with X and Y. And then for three variables, we are going to use the variables X, Y, and then M. Okay, so let's go to the first question. Factorize completely the expression, bracket open, X squared minus K squared, bracket close, minus P into bracket H plus K. Now you see that on the calculator we don't have H and then K and then the P. We don't have it on the calculator. So these are three different letters, H, K, and P. And as we have said earlier, in place of the first letter, that is in place of H, we are going to put X there. And then in place of K, we will put Y. And then in place of P, we are going to put M. So instead of H squared minus K squared, we are going to have X squared minus y squared on the calculator. So let's now have this expression on the calculator. First, let's open the parenthesis, the bracket. So you open the bracket. We have, in place of the h, we are putting x there. So to get the x, you click on alpha, and then you click on x, and then you square it. And then we have minus k squared. And then in place of the k, we want to put y there. So we are going to have minus you, to get the y, you click on alpha, and then you click on the y, then the y should be squared, so we square the y. Now we need to close the bracket, so let us open and close the bracket. Then we have minus, so the minus sign comes, and like we have said earlier, for three different variables, we are using x, y, and m. Now we have gotten the x to replace h, we've gotten y to replace k. Now we are going to use m to replace the p. So to get the M, you click on alpha and then you click on M. Then you open the bracket, so bracket opens. Remember, we were replacing the H by X. So we have bracket alpha and then you click on X and then plus. Then you click on alpha again, alpha, and then you click on Y. So alpha, Y, so let's click the Y. Okay, now we close the bracket. Now, for the purpose of this, we have said that because we are doing this for examination purposes, whenever you are done entering your variables, please go back to the question to cross-check that you have entered the right question on the calculator. Once you are satisfied, now we are good to go. So how do we solve this? Now, to do that, look at what I have here. For X, you are going to put 2 there, and then for Y, you put 3, and then for M, you put 4. So we are going to press on the shift, okay? Now when we press on shift, it will ask us what are the Y values, what are the X values, and what are the M values. So now let us now go and click the shift and see. So let's click on solve. So in place of the X, we are putting two. Then you press the equal sign. And then the next one is a Y. In place of the Y, let's put three. And then you press it's equal to. And then in place of the M, we are putting four there. So let's click 4 and then you press is equal to. So now you see that when you put 2, 3, and 4 into this expression, the final answer is going to be minus 25. So the question is that which of these answers, A, B, C, and D, when we put 2, 3, and 4, we'll get the same answer. Now let's note this answer down. So the next thing, you are going to enter the options one by one on the calculator. And then you are going to replace whatever you see X, you put 2. Where you see Y, you put 3. Where you see M, you put 4 into each of the possible answers. 
the one that will give you the negative 25 is the correct answer. Now let's go for option one and see if it is the answer. So option one, we have bracket open, um, then we have H. Now note that we replace the H by X and then the key to replace that by um, Y. So let's note that one very well. Now for that one, look at it. First, it is H minus K squared. Now to do that, first let's click the square sign. So you click the square sign and then let's bring the brackets. And now we can input the variable. So we have alpha x, then minus alpha y. So alpha y, and you close your bracket. So we want to find out whether this is the correct answer. To do that, remember we say that wherever you see x, you put 2. Where you see y, you put 3. And where you see m, you are going to put 4. But this one has only x and y. So just press the solve question. Um, the solve button. In place of the x, let's put 2 is equal to. And then in place of the y, let's put 3 is equal to. So you see, we are getting 1. That means this A is not the answer. Because when we place those values into the original equation, we were getting minus 25. So this is not the answer. Let's check the next one. And the next one um, is bracket H plus K, bracket H minus K. So now, thankfully, I have H minus K. I have this one there. All I need to do is to edit it because in examination, I don't have too much time, okay? So all I do is that I just have to edit the work and then see the way forward. Okay, now, let's now go. So you open your bracket, and then we have H plus K. That is X plus Y. Then you close your bracket. Okay, so that is X. So X here, then plus, and then we go for the Y. So Y, that is the first part. Then the second part, another bracket open, and we have X. So alpha X minus the same alpha and then Y. Then you close your bracket. If you are yet to subscribe, and those who haven't watched our previous edition, please, we encourage you to kindly go back and do that. Okay, so let me now close my bracket. Okay, now I am true. So I want to check what I have here. Is it the same thing I have in the answer? Once I am convinced that I have done the right thing, then whatever I see X, I am going to put 2. Where I see Y, you put 3 there. And you do so by clicking the solve button. In place of the X, you click on 2, it's equal to. Then in place of the Y, you click on 3, it's equal to. Now we are getting negative 5, which means A is not the answer, B is not the answer. Because we are looking for minus 25. Which of these is the right answer? Let's go for the option C. Option C is x squared. So x and then we squared minus. Now we are getting k. So the k was replaced by y. So minus alpha. Okay, so alpha x. Then you square. And then minus alpha y. So y. And then we square the y as well. Then we have minus h. Remember, h stands for x. So minus mm, minus x. So we have the x coming. Okay, and then minus and uh, kp. Remember, k is, is the um, y and p is the m. So we have alpha y and then alpha m. Now we have this. So we want to replace them. Whatever we see x, we put 2. Where you see y, you put 3. And where you see m, you put 4. So let us now go to solve. In place of the x, you click on 2. In place of the y, you click on 3. And then for m, we click on 4. And what do we get? We are getting minus 19. So it means a, b, c are not the right answer. Let's go for option D. Option D, let's open the bracket. We have x. So x, alpha x, and then plus um, y. So alpha y. Then we close the bracket. So let us close the bracket. And then another bracket open. Then we have alpha x. So, and then minus alpha y. So minus alpha and y. We have it there. And then minus m. That is alpha m. Okay, so we have m here. Bracket close. Now let's put in the values and see. So where we see x, let's put 2. 
where we see y, let's put 3, then include the equal sign, and then where we see m, let's put 4. Now we are getting minus 25. So it means the correct answer for the, this first question, factorize completely h squared minus k squared minus p into bracket h plus k. The right answer is option D, and we are done. So this is how you use your calculator in solving questions involving um, uh, questions involving algebra.